It's Fox 17 News. Back to you guys. Good job, Andy. My highest game ever bowled was when I was on the junior high school uh, bowling team. I bowled 189. I thought that was a big deal back then. I was only like 12 or 13 years old, but uh, it was fun at that time. Good morning, everybody. As we look at what's going on in Ravana, uh, we've got kind of a milky white sky out there. You know, I just checked the observations. I checked the lower level smoke. I checked the upper level smoke. I don't want to say that there's smoke out there in the atmosphere because we don't have any kind of an air quality alert out there, but might just be some high thin cirrus clouds, a real thin layer of it because we're not seeing that bright blue sky and that beaming sunshine. So there is a little bit of haze of some kind going on out there, maybe high level cirrus clouds or it may be a little smoke in the upper levels of the atmosphere, but still going to be a great day. Summer warmth continues today with highs in the mid 80s. Rain develops tomorrow and then a marginal severe weather chance for Thursday, Thursday night and Friday. This is just some ground clutter on the radar site. We are dry. Temperatures are as cool as 54 in Allegan and Greenville, 59 in Grand Rapids and we're 56 up there from Hart over to Big Rapids. Temperatures uh, a couple of week or so ago across the northern plains in the Midwest were in the 40s and 50s. Now we're well into the 50s and even the 60s, so it's warmed up uh, a lot since that time. There's been some uh, severe thunderstorm watches out here over Nebraska. Those have since been canceled. This system continues to move into portions of Iowa, but that's still several hundred miles away from us. It's not going to be impacting us today. It'll be mostly sunny to partly cloudy, warm and pleasant. Highs in the mid 80s with an east southeast wind at about five to 10 miles per hour. High pressure is given us this beautiful day today. And as we go through the day, really not a whole lot happening. That high pressure area will drift off to the south and east. We'll start to increase the cloud cover a little bit through the overnight hours, but stay dry. Might see some early morning sunshine tomorrow. Consider it a bonus if we do, because it's going to be cut off fairly quickly. By mid to late morning, there could be a few showers moving on through. I think the best chance of showers tomorrow going to be in the evening, the overnight hours, and into Friday as this uh, low pressure area and entire frontal system move in here. There could be some rumbles of thunder as well. And we do have some marginal chances of some stronger to severe thunderstorms. This is for tomorrow and tomorrow night. Area south and west of Grand Rapids here in green under a marginal threat for severe weather. And that threat on Friday shifts to areas along and east of US 131. Some of those cells could contain some hail or some wind. There's just an isolated chance of that, but that's what we'll be monitoring. Precipitation chances ramp up Thursday and Friday. Those are the highest precip chances. Those boxes are red because of the severe weather threat, as small as it is. And then the chances will start to go down, especially as we get into the beginning of next week. Weather and the rainfall amounts from Thursday to Sunday. We're looking yesterday like one to two inches. Now the model's pulling back a little bit. Widespread, everybody should get in on something probably about a half inch to an inch with the heaviest rain or the steady is coming probably Thursday night into the first part or second part of Friday there. We're 85 today, then we're in the 70s there for Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday because of the extensive cloud cover and the rain chances there. Then we should dry out there for Monday and Tuesday with temperatures around 80 degrees. That is your West Michigan forecast. It's coming up on 721. Rob is an update on traffic.